Dividing sine fractions requires three steps to resolve the dividing issue before we're going to actually end up multiplying fractions. That's because we can't divide fractions. So we just need to remember the three steps that we do first. I like to think of it as stay, change, and flip. You may think of it as KFC. They both work. After that, we're going to go to step four, and that will be multiplying. Once we hit step four, this will just be multiplying fractions. And so division of fractions is just these extra three steps added on in front. So step one is stay. Our first fraction stays the same. I'm just going to bring it down negative 7 eighths. Step two, we're changing division into multiplication. Step three, we're flipping the second fraction. We're taking its reciprocal, which is 16 fifths. We're done with the division part. We now have a multiplication problem with fractions. So there are two options. We can multiply across and then simplify multiply, then simplify, or what I like better is simplify, then multiply. If you notice, we'll simplify in both cases, and we will multiply in both cases. So it doesn't matter the order. I just like to simplify first so that I have smaller numbers to work with. So I have a 7, there's no number that goes into both 7 and 8, and there's no number that goes into both 7 and 5. With 16, there's no number that goes into both 5 and 16, but when I look 16 and 8, I know that I can divide them both by 8s. 8 divided by 8 gives me a 1, 16 divided by 8 gives me a 2. So I now have negative 7 over 1, times 2 over 5. I've done the simplifying, so now I can do the multiplying. I'm going to multiply across. A negative times a positive will give me a negative. 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 5 is 5. So I get negative 14 fifths. Uh, this is an okay answer. It is the improper fraction. If you wanted to change it into a mixed number, you could get a negative 2 and 4 fifths. They mean the same thing, so either answer is okay.